Hey guys, it's Kendall Whalert. And I'm April Hunt, and we are the owners of Water's Edge Realty. We are so excited to just kind of share with you guys um, some things about Water's Edge, and we also just want to say thank you so much from our community. We've had so much support from other brokerages to other businesses and just all around community support, and so we just kind of wanted to create this video and just share with you guys. So <laughs> I just wanted to share a little bit about whenever we started our brokerage, something that was really important to us was that we had a family atmosphere here in the office because we do life together, we do business together, and we really wanted it to be a place that people could come every day and just love coming to work. It was amazing to watch it all come together. Um, I remember thinking when we first opened, we had construction to do. Right. There was no furniture. I mean, we right. had to paint, open walls, cut Miranda's desk down, no furniture. And then all of a sudden, all these agents were like, please, let's go to Water's Edge. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, I can imagine not like doing it without them now. I know, literally, like putting together furniture, um, just being here every day <laughs> while we were getting systems set up and just, we were still working, of course, trying to sell houses and stuff in the middle of all of it. So I'm so grateful for every one of them that were here that just like, you know, put their work boots on and, and helped us get started. And just didn't even mind the chaos of the construction. Right, exactly, it was really amazing. But um, one of the things that, uh, what I love is the people who are currently here, and I'm sure that there will be more in the future, but just their hearts. Yeah. Their hearts to serve the community, their mm -hmm. hearts for each other, their hearts for their clients. And I just, I really feel like we're truly creating something special. I, I agree. And I think something that we say over and over whenever we're talking with people about the brokerage and if they want to come and be a part with us, and that's just about how important just honesty and character and integrity is in our line of business. Because it's not just about the clients that you're dealing with on a daily basis. It's about the other agents that you're working with. It's about your reputation in the community that we all live in and that we all, you know, have raised our kids in or whatever. It's it's so important that that who we are on the other side of a transaction is not the only part of who we are. It 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 spills over into every area of our life. Well, one of the other things that we had talked about was we really wanted to go back to being a boutique brokerage. Right. Something smaller, something uh, non-corporate. Not that corporate's an issue. Mm -hmm. Just we wanted more say and more control over decisions that were being made. For you sure. Know? Um, so uh, that's one of the things I really love. Like, you know, just our agents have input. They come to us they and they're like, hey, April Kendall, what about this? Right. Hey, uh, we noticed that we need to tweak this. And we're like, all right, great, bring it to us, let's do it. And then we can decide. Yeah, and, and training. I mean, training is a big part of that too because I'm able to literally talk with them individually or like, hey, what are some areas that we're struggling in? What are some things that you feel like you need some help with? And then we're able to tailor that training for the people that are right here in this office. And let's be honest, Fairhope is a really special place. It's a yes. really unique place. And so the great thing about being an independent boutique brokerage is the fact that we are agents for this community. We live and serve right here in this community. And so we, we aren't thinking big picture. We aren't thinking about the whole entire state. We're literally thinking about just our area, our communities that we all live in and that's from the eastern shore to rural central Baldwin County and even down to the beach. I know another one of the things that you know stood out to me was a lot of people have commented on our name Water's Edge. Mm -hmm. So just to kind of go back into some of that, uh, April and I, oh my gosh, I remember sitting on the couch one night and brainstorming. brainstorming. I, I found like this <laughs> website and I was like all right let me just put words that makes me think of the eastern shore area together. And then I think I came up with like 10 names and I then I narrowed them down to five. I took those five to April and I was like, all right, April, let's start praying over these and let's figure out which one it was. And I remember standing in um, my bathroom the morning that she called me with the name and I looked at my husband and I was like, I think she's leaning towards my number two. I think it's number, she's leaning towards number two and I really want Water's Edge. And uh, I won't share what number two is, but anyways. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, she called within like five minutes of me saying that out loud. And I remember I looked at Ricky and I was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, and I literally, I kind of had been leaning toward it, but the more, mm -hmm. you know, obviously when it comes to a name, it's such a big decision. And so for me, I just kept thinking like, I mean, it's not like you can just change your mind, you know, in a couple yeah. months. And so uh, I really poured over just, you know, searching and Googling and 
um, you know, trying to see how that rolls off the tongue and how yes. do you think about, uh, you know, what that's going to look like from a marketing standpoint. And so um, I thought it was so cool the way it all worked out that in the end we ended up on the same page immediately. Yeah. Well, and I was very, very thankful for that. Yeah. Because I was like, please don't have our first disagreement. <laughs> and I yeah. the name. That's right. Um, <laughs> but then the other cool thing, you mentioned marketing. So April actually created our logo. So one thing you'll learn about April and I is we are completely different. I'm very business brain. She's very marketing and artsy. Um, but when you put the two of us together, it definitely is a powerhouse. So, you know, um, I was on the backside doing systems and, mm -hmm. and getting all the broker stuff do, um, going. And then she was on the other side, like creating um, booklets and, mm -hmm. and marketing material and logos. And we have three really cool logos, by mm -hmm. the way, yeah. with the help of Rose Garcia. Um, she definitely helped out and then t-shirt design and we're working on hat design now and it's right. just it's all coming together so yeah. quickly right but um, overall I would say it was a pretty smooth process yes it happened I mean, it happened fast we were able to really put our brains together and and make some quick decisions and I think again that kind of goes back to like the contrast in our personalities I would really like to like pour over it and think about like five different you know ideas and ways and colors and stuff and Kendall's just like yep that, that one. That one that looks one. good. And that so looks good. I'm like, oh, sometimes that, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I need somebody to be like, yeah, that's the one. It looks great. <laughs> and it turned out so good. And I'll be honest, guys, I never could have created that. There's no way. <laughs> so Kendall, as qualifying broker, obviously is handling the day-to-day, -day, the legal part of, um, you know, handling the agents and the contracts and things like that. And I'm handling um, the trainings, tailoring those trainings and lining up the trainings for our agents and things like that. So I think together it's, um, you know, our goal of course is to have top notch professionals who are operating at just the peak of their ability, reaching their individual goals. Our goal is not to have, um, you know, 20, $30 million selling agents across the board. It really is for for us to know our agents right. individually and help meet their needs. And okay. then also in the community, just being yeah. the kind of agents that other people hear the name and they have a positive um, outlook on. Yeah, it's it's really about like who they are. Right, You know, um, what their heart is, how, you know, people would say they're kind or respectful or loving or, you know, um, you know, I just, our agents, I would say are as far as like sales, they're all over the board. Right. And I, yeah. I, I love that. Me too. But yeah. if I have, if we have somebody who wants to sell 10 houses a year, mm -hmm. I want to help them sell 10 houses a year. That's right. And then it'd be we, so knowledgeable, yes. you know, and then if we have somebody who wants to sell 50 houses a year, well, we'll help them sell 50 houses a year. Right. You know? So I just think that supporting everybody at their goals, right. At their level for whatever that may be. Some of them are moms. Right. Yeah. And they need to be with their kids. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, whatever that looks like for them, we want to grow them at their pace, at their level. And um, it's more about building a family. So we call ourselves the Water's Edge family. Yeah. Um, and that is that is our culture. Um, and I would say if you ever come up to the office, there's a lot of our family here. Yeah. Like they are. Yeah. <laughs> And it's so cool because even today I, I walked back to our training room and I could see agents sitting with a mentor, um, you know, learning and gleaning from somebody who has been there and done this for a while, but also our seasoned agents pouring and investing into these newer agents instead of seeing them as competition, instead of seeing them as people that, you know, they don't want to help so that they don't get better than them. It's the opposite of that here. That's and right. that to me is literally the heartbeat of what we're trying to do. Well, I mean, you were new five years ago. That's now right. you own a company. That's right. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but anyways, we really just wanted to take some time and just share with y'all our heart. We are, once again, so grateful for your support. Um, I mean, even other brokerages. I think that was probably that has been the, really special. the biggest part for me. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got our agents are calling you and just telling you, cheering you on, you know, I mean, that just, again, goes back to our, our real estate community here in this area. Oh, and yeah. How I mean, we've gotten plants and flowers yeah. and desserts. <laughs> and, um, Way too many sweets in the office yeah, right now. Yeah, Y'all can stop on the sweets. Um, <laughs> Oh, and then, you know, some brokerages are coming to our grand opening. Mm -hmm. So I That's love right. that local support yeah. from each other and just That's congratulations. Great. And yeah. it's been great. It really has. So thank you from us. Um, we are appreciative and we will see you guys soon.